Okay, so what is the um, quantum numbers for the eighth electron in oxygen? Okay, can you guys do that? So the eighth electron. Okay, so help me out. What's N? Two. Two. Very good. Uh, was that a guess or? No. No, you knew that. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, so two. Somebody else, help me out. What's L? Uh, How would you figure that out? It's two. So it's one. It's one, right? Why is it one? Because it goes zero, one, zero, two. one, two, three. <clears throat> so if it's a p orbital, it's one. Okay, and this one's in. So what? What is this? It's the two p, the fourth electron in two p, right? So um, if you want to, you can write the electron configuration, that might fire the orbital diagram. That might also help you. So 2s, 2p, right? Let's fill this one up together. How do we do this? So oxygen needs four electrons, right? So where are we going to put the first one? Right there. there. And the second one? Next, Next one. one, right? And this one? Yes. Yeah. And then the second, right? Okay. So, what's M sub L? Negative one. Negative one. How did I figure that out? It's the first one, it's yeah. negative one, zero. So this one. one's negative one, zero, and one. Do you guys remember what these orbitals are called? So there was a quiz question kind of like that showed an orbital and said, what is this orbital called? So they're P, X, Y, and Z would be the way to call them, okay? You guys know that, right? Okay. So there's the 2PX, the 2PY, and the 2PZ. They're not necessarily in this order, okay, that they fill in that order, but there's one on the X axis, one on the Y axis, one on the Z axis, so we call them. Okay. Oh, are you talking about like, this? Uh huh. Yes. Oh, okay. Definitely. Okay. So what did we say this one was? Negative, Negative one. Why? Because we're concentrating on that electron there, right? Okay. What's the spin? Negative one half. Well, okay. Normally, yes, you would say negative one half. And in fact, if you rub that, it would be, I would say, correct. You know. In fact, if you put positive one half, it would also be correct. Okay. Because you don't really know which way the first electron went in, okay? So if the electron went in upside down, then that would be negative and the second one would be positive, okay? But it is convention to say that the second one is the negative one, okay? So you guys are pretty cool with that? So that's the eighth electron. The seventh electron, would that have different or the same quantum numbers? Different. Different, right? Different, almost yeah. the same, a lot the same, right? But it's a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. There's some things that are. Uh, yeah. The uh, n and l will be the same, right? But m sub l will be different, right? That would be. Let's do. Let's do the seventh one. So that was the eight. Let's do the seventh one. So n would be two. L would be one. What's m sub l? One. One. And m sub s? Positive. Yeah. Positive one half. If we're doing our little convention that we were saying, right? And if I did another electron, hopefully you guys could do this, right? Do we have to do any more of these? For oxygen. We can do more on Friday. Any questions on this? No.